Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, do I have a vlog for you guys because this weekend has been a whole struggle. So as you guys know from my last video, I did a small little makeover to my living room and I mentioned how I had to sit a certain way on my sofa because there was no privacy, like my neighbors could see right into my place. So a lot of you suggested like different things. Thank you guys so much for all your suggestions. I actually took one of them, which was to get like a frosted film for my windows. And that's what I did. But can I tell you, it was a struggle because the one I got was really, really nice. And the problem is, well, it wasn't a problem. The thing is, on the website or on the app because it's an app called Coupang. So on there, I found really affordable frosted fil films for windows. There is a variety of them. I just had to pick one. Well, the one that I chose, I looked at the direction. So how am I supposed to install this? What do I need to do? You know, normal stuff. So at the directions, they only had four things. If I can get the screenshot, I will and like put it on the side so you guys can see that your girl's not challenged She's not stupid, but like, yeah. So anywho, they only had four directions, okay? So the four directions were, first thing was clean the window, which is obvious, that makes sense. Second one was to spray the window with a lot of water, like drench it, that's what it said, drench it. And then take the film and put it on the window and start spreading you know, start sticking it, but from the center outwards, okay? So I saw that. And then the last one was then cut off the excess because I guess you don't want it to be too short that like bubbles get in. I don't know, that's kind of how I processed it was that you're gonna cut it at the end to make sure air doesn't get trapped and then it like falls off, I don't know, right? So that's all it said. Cut off the excess, you're done. One, two, three, four, bam, okay? But the thing is, when I got it, on the back, I could see there was like a grid, right? This measurement grid to help you cut it accurately to match wherever you were going to stick it. But the thing is, there wasn't any like peel off corner. You know, usually like, maybe because I'm new to this, it's never supposed to be like that. I don't know. But there was like nowhere. And like my nails are not that long. Look, look my nails are not that long. So I could barely focus. So I could barely like pull it apart, okay? So I was like, but this thing says it's self-adhesive. I don't need to do anything. The directions don't call for me peeling it off. But when I looked at the pictures, I don't see anyone else with that grid in the back. So I was so confused. <clears throat> but as you'll see from the footage, <laughs> it was a whole mess. It's like a window squeegee cleaner that comes with the spray bottle. How genius is that? So you can spray and then clean. And then I got X-Acto knife, an X-Acto knife. Came with two for one, so I just got that. So got this, this, and then we got this. This doesn't come off.
So, this is how the top looks like. Wow, look at those clouds. SubhanAllah. And then, here, where the neighbors are. They can't see me. Ah, so, at nighttime, I'm not planning to have it open, obviously, because they can see from up there. But here, I can sit on my sofa comfortably. See, so here I am. And nobody can see me. It's really nice. I guess it's island. I don't know what's going on, but. Look what just fell. Look at this. That means I didn't do a good job. The other one that I did before is fine. Oh my god, I gotta fix this now. Ugh. Okay. I just put it up again. This guy is still doing well. Hasn't fallen off. Um, so I think there was just an air bubble or I did something, but yeah. Take two. Inshallah, it stays. Please. <laughs> Y'all won't believe it. This, I probably, I'm going to talk about it separately, but I just, I can't. Because this wouldn't come off. I knew it had to come off, but even on the directions on the website, Coupang, they didn't give anything about taking off this film. So when I looked at other related products, they kept mentioning to remove this. And obviously, I know there would be no way that pe the people who posted this on their windows were doing it with this in the back, like you would see it. But this doesn't come off. Like if you look, I don't know if it'll focus, but... There's no way you can peel this off with your fingernails. Like, it's not that easy. They should have put, like, a sticker or something that shows that you can take it off. Because I literally had to find a jagged edge, and that's how I was able to get it off. And so, this is how this ish looks like. I can't believe it. So, take two. I'm doing it at nighttime, so my neighbors are going to see me. But, yeah, here goes nothing. So after all this happened, I was, I still had some scraps from when I trimmed the edges. And so um, one of the pieces was like ripped. It didn't have a straight clean cut. It had like a jagged edge. So jagged edge, anyone know that group? Sorry. <laughs> so with that jagged edge, I realized like there was a piece sticking out. So I was like, let me see, because as you guys saw, the one behind me started falling off two or three times and I was like something's wrong here like something doesn't make sense because I don't understand what I'm doing wrong so I saw that piece and I'm like I swear that back has to come off like it's not in the directions but you don't see it in the pictures and that's the only thing that makes sense so I went ahead and was like playing with it and finally I got it to separate the plastic from the actual film and I was like oh my gosh because I finally got them to stay on my window and this was at nighttime, mind you. I was like sticking it back at night. <clears throat> so, after I took off that film, I took them all down again. And like in the dark slash one of my emergency like escape light thingies is so bright that I use that as a light to stick it back on and like spray the window down first, stick it on and then like get the bubbles out and that time when i finally figured it out getting the bubbles out was really hard because it would like bend i feel like if i had more than one person to help me it would be fine but i finally figured out a method to slowly do it it's kind of like i had to fold it in half after i stuck it like peel it back and then like window wipe it with like a piece of cloth my microfiber towel so I was like window wiping it and then like moving as I went. So I would like go down and just keep going. And that's how I avoided a lot of bubbles. So once I figured that out, I had another problem. The roll that I bought was only big enough to cover these two windows. It wasn't big enough for the windows in my next room and the windows in my bedroom. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to order another one. So I went ahead and ordered another one. That was no big deal. It'll come the next day. So I finally got it. I went ahead and put it on my 
spare room and then my bedroom because my bedroom faces the building next to me so there's no view basically so what that means is like you know obviously if I want to open my curtains they can see right into my my room but obviously there is a distance between their building it's not like they're like right here they're over here but still there are apartments above me on that side that can see right into my room so I got blackout curtains and then I would never open them so now what I want to do is just to get some natural light every day is I went ahead and put the film on the windows so yeah like I said your girl can read your girl is smart but I gave them the benefit of the doubt and I followed the directions that they had but when I looked at related products that people had bought to that film they were way more in depth with their directions and like specific things that you needed to do they even said like spray the window and spray the back of the film so it's like a magnet and it just like sticks together and I was like wh why are y'all not doing the same anywho so that definitely made a difference for me to just go and check other related products and see that I wasn't going crazy and that yeah I was supposed to do it a certain way that I wasn't so <laughs> oh my gosh anyways you live and you learn right Hey guys, so it's take two of me making the Beyond Burger because last time I made the temperature too high and I burnt it. It visually looked like I burnt the out of it, but it was actually okay and it tasted really, really good. So now that I've actually let it thaw, we're gonna go at it again and make it more aesthetically pleasing. We're gonna try and even if it doesn't look good, just know it tastes. Amazing, I bet a lot of you have had it. If you haven't had it, get on it. So I'm gonna make it before I head out because I'm hungry and I don't want it to go bad. So let's go ahead and make it round two.
Okay, so here's take two. Sorry, it's like covered in something. But take two is so much better and it looks so good. Oh my god, guys. This, this, yes. We did it. We did it. There's the burger. It smells so delicious. Woo! Okay. Ooh la la. Bon appetit. So I highly, highly, highly recommend the Beyond Burger if you're looking for meat alternatives or if you're just looking for a way to, you know, be healthy, still get that burger, and help the environment, then definitely check it out because it was so good. I'm tempted to order it again, but I'm just like, girl, lay it off. Let it be a treat. Let it be a treat, right? Don't let something good become something bad. Okay, so yeah, that was delicious. Anywho, this weekend was a whirlwind. I feel like I've done so much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I obviously went through it. I went through it unnecessarily just to put frosted, what are those things called again? The frosted film sticker thing to my window. But then after that, like I feel like I'm a pro now. I know what I need to do and I was able to do my other windows. So that's all I can ask for and yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, change it to all not personalized because then that means you're not gonna get every upload. So make sure that you turn those post notifications on and let me know down below if this kind of thing has happened with to you guys because am I the only one? Because I low key was like, of course this would happen to me. The one time I follow the directions. Well, it's not the one time. I always follow the directions. But, like, really? <sighs> Anywho, I will see you guys later. Bye! Annyeong! Bye, guys.